we're always free to choose. To believe what we want to believe. But when you step back, when you really look at where you've been and the things you've done, your past will come to devour you. There you go, little guy. And only 800 more frames to go. No way I'm getting through tonight without some coffee. Probably some downstairs. Mind if I step in? Uh, of course not. Thank you, Audrey. You look like you could use a little company. So, it's been really nice this past week. Just beautiful, gorgeous. What was that? Please tell me we're not trapped in here. Don't you worry, my dear. It's just a little short in this system. Happening a lot this past few days. No need to fret. Let's see what we can find. Come along now. Old Wilson will protect you. Ah, there we are. Just a few more switches to throw. Follow me. It will be perfectly safe. Looks like someone's been messing with the exhibits. There should be something on each of these pedestals. Audrey, sweet Audrey. Do an old man a favor and go find them. I'll tend to the power. very 
soon. You will forget everything. Let go! Come find me, Audrey. Come find me, and I'll show you your purpose. I'll show you the truth. This can't be rude. And now... We die. What are you doing? Oh no! No! What's happened to you? too much of that if I were you. It helps patch you up, but the aftertaste, it's not so good. Easy now, I'm not gonna hurt you. It looked like you needed some help. Don't touch me. What are you? Ugh, what is this horrible place? Yeah, I remember my first day down here. I know, it's scary, but you're actually pretty lucky. The machine could have turned you into a searcher. You mean that, that thing that attacked me? No, that's a piper. And he's part of a gang, so be careful. I don't understand any of this. I can't think. It hurts. You'll catch on pretty quickly, if you can stay alive. Lesson one. Searchers don't have legs, and they tend to swarm. Look, it's not good to stay in one place for too long around here. Keep moving, and stay close to the shadows. Take my advice. Head to the upper levels. It's safer there. Can I come with you? You can't. I'm sorry. I have a wolf. He doesn't care for strangers. A wolf? Like I said, you'll catch on. Good luck. I hope we meet again. Oh, and one more thing. Above everything else, stay away from the ink demon. What's an ink demon? Oh, you'll know him when you see him. He likes to smile. And he kills anything that moves. Wait! What's your name? They call me Alice. I'm not very fond of it. I'm Audrey. Well, Audrey, welcome to the studio.
Hello? Audrey? Oh, I'm so glad you're all right. Uh, Alice, I think you and I have very different definitions of all right. Where are you? Animation department entrance? But it's locked up tight. Good. That means you're heading up. Look for anything you can use to break in. Maybe there's a gent pipe nearby. What was that? There's something in here. Audrey, find that gent pipe. Now. Oh no. There's the gent pipe. Way too dark in there. Need to get the lights working first. Who's in there? Open up. If I find you, I'm gonna rip your face off. Who's out here? Kitchen's closed. Well, happy birthday to me. At least now I can defend myself. Definitely won't make. Bendy? You're real? Oh, this is amazing. It's okay. I won't hurt you. I promise. It's okay. See? I'm your friend. I won't hurt you. There. Is that you, Phil? I told you I'm not opening the door until you bring me my pictures. I drew them. I want them back. Oh, hello there. Are you looking for the way out? A way out would be nice. Are you stuck in there? <laughs> well, yes, and I'm afraid that means, well, you're stuck too. Can't you move? Not an inch. Uh, perhaps you could get me unstuck? 
I'll see what I can do. Something I have learned. Mm, there we are. It's passed on. Now you can move like me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Something special in all of us. Especially you, Audrey. Who are you? Don't you know me? Take a good look. Aren't you... Joey Drew? In the flesh. Well, so to speak. Come on up. Let's take a little walk. There's something I want to show you. There you go. Follow me. But mind your step. This old place is full of surprises. I should know. I've worked here a long time. Mr. Drew? Joey, please. Joey, what is this place? The studio? These monsters? Am I dreaming? It's a psycho, Audrey. An ink-stained nightmare, forever stuck on repeat. With just a pencil and a dream, and with a little help from the Jet Corporation, came into being. From what I gather, it exists in parallel with the outside world, but completely removed from the march of time. And like a record played over and over again, it's begun to crumble, wear down. This studio is a monument to choosing the wrong road. Now whether it was built for revenge or regret, 
I don't know. That's my riddle to solve. The truth is, Audrey, someone out there is messing with what's in here. Bad things have begun to emerge from the puddles. Wicked creatures that never came from my pen. The worst ones call themselves keepers. Dangerous, deadly folks. They've taken over the old jet workshop just beyond the sewers. Trying to bring what they call order to this world. Freezing the cycle in place. Changing the script. Whatever answers you're looking for. You'll find them there. <sighs> Look, above all, never forget. You're here for a reason, Audrey. There's always a reason, even when you can't understand it. You made this world. Why can't you fix it? Because I'm not the man. I'm just the memory. Behold, the stranger is upon us. Kill her. Kill her now. What in the world? How big is this place? Oh, it's you. Where did you come from? Look, I'm sorry about earlier. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. And I really don't think you want to hurt me either, right? Good. Let's be friends then, okay? What do you say? You and me? Awesome. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for the old gent building. What's wrong? Is it a bad place? It's okay. I won't let anything happen to you. We'll go one step at a time. Just you and me. Let's see what we can find. Looks like we need to find an ID card somewhere around here. Any ideas, Bendy? Well, James, <laughs> you haven't gotten far. Don't do that. Wait. How... How did you get in here? Oh, I have my ways. So tell me, how goes the journey? Slow, but I'll get through. Ah, I see you have your father's never-quit go-getter spirit. Oh, now you knew my father. Well, newsflash, I didn't even know my father. Or my mother. Or anyone else in my family. I see, then. You've chosen to forget the past. I can understand that. What are you talking about? Look, I don't think you're ready for this. But hang on to your lunch money. There's something I want to show you. Wait, what are you doing? Oh yeah? I'll just start my own place. Where are we? A very old place. Full of memories. But never mind all that. There's a little story you need to hear. You ready? Here we go. Once upon a time, Audrey, there was a bitter old man who had lost just about everything. Joey. Right. The real Joey Drew. He blamed everyone but himself for his mistakes. But mostly he blamed his old business partner for abandoning their work years and years ago. A man by the name of Henry Stein, great artist and a good friend. In his anger, Joey used an evil machine to create another world. A world made of paper and ink, where he'd torment his own version of Henry forevermore. But one day, a miracle happened. An angel came into Joe's life. A young woman by the name of Allison Pendle. She didn't visit often, but when she did, she saw something good in Joey no one else could, including himself. Through their friendship, he began to see the world with better eyes. So one day, 
in Joey's cartoon cycle of hatred, he gave Henry an angel of his own to guide him when things were most dark, to always provide hope. It was then Joey decided to make something new, something he had always wanted but he could never have, a family, but not a cartoon one, something real. And after many, many tries, he created something that made him happier than he ever could have imagined. A wonderful, loving daughter. Bright and kind, almost human. He created you, Audrey. What? Are you crazy? Listen, I know it's a lot to believe. Who do you think you are? I wasn't born from some machine. I'm flesh and, and blood. I'm not some kind of ink monster. Just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it. We're always free to choose, to believe what we want to believe. Take me back, right now. I'm not listening to any more of your lies. Remember who you are, Audrey. Leave me alone. <sighs> Take me to him? He wanted me to find him. Out. At least, 
They're never quite the same. But I could open the door for you. I do know how. I really do. Uh, thank you. That would... But, but first, maybe play a game. Oh, I love to play games. I like hide and seek best. Find me and I'll open the door for you. I promise. Look away while I hide and no peeking. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, can you help me? You must be really lost to be asking me, Brad. I'm just looking for answers about the Keepers, Wilson, the cycle, anything could help. What's your name? Audrey. What's yours? Honestly? I've almost forgotten. <sighs> My name is Henry. Have you been a prisoner long? When the Keepers think you're a threat to their plans, they lock you away. Forever. Still, it's giving me time to think. Things like, if you haven't eaten in years, you might not be human. Why would you be a threat to them? I'm what they call a cycle breaker. Once upon a time, I knew how to start the cycle over. And when that happens, everything begins again. Completely new. Obviously, Wilson and the Keepers don't want that to happen. How did you do it? Reset the cycle. It turns out the Ink Demon himself is the key. This world is his, but even he must obey its rules. For now, at least. If you can get him to look at something very specific, it will reset everything. What is it? It's just a reel of film, labeled with the words, The End. I can see it in my mind every day. They keep it upstairs in the pit. I'll see if I can break in and steal it. Maybe if I reset the cycle, we could make things better for everyone here. And what about you? I just want to go home. So did I. Good luck, Audrey. If you need me again, you know where to find me. You're safe now. You did this to me. You brought me here. Turned me into this, this thing. This doesn't make sense. I've never done anything to you. Open your eyes and look around you. None of this makes sense. Drawn walls, 
nightmarish creatures. An ancient studio that died out almost 30 years ago. It's all fiction, utter nonsense. And yet, in here, it exists. It breathes. It flourishes. Reality, guided by its master's pen. The foundation for a new reality. We can bleed into our own. Just think of it. Anything we create in here, we can release out there. But first, this world must be controlled. Made safe. These things... These angels and demons, are they really life? Or are they just stains? Old mistakes ready to be cleansed away for newer, greater things. What do you want from me? I need your help to Save my father's life. What? This is our star. We'll talk more once we're safely inside. Stay close. This place isn't as safe as it once was. The demon's evil continues to spread. This world has begun to shudder. Be quiet! What did you say? Nothing. It was nothing. Hmm. Almost there. Just a quick stop. Won't take but a moment. Now, my dear, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later, I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. A quick rest will do you good. Betty will show you to your room. She's my housekeeper, among other things. You never actually killed the Ink Demon, did you? No. He's too powerful to destroy. So we sealed him away, trapped him in a different form. One that was smaller, harmless. Bendy. It was a fitting prison, although he seems to have found a way to free himself. But enough talk. We'll deal with that soon enough. There's some nice fresh blankets all laid out for you. You'll be dreaming in no time. Wait, Wilson? One more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? <sighs> Would you have believed me? 
Come along, and no more dawdling. This way now. You should see where I sleep. Ugh. <laughs> but this room, oh, just perfect. I saw to every detail. Bed is clean, the bathroom is on the left. Sorry about the stains. I did try my best to get them out. Did you have any questions? Is it always night here? It's always dark, if that's what you mean. For as long as I can remember. Are you very old? No. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Although, I didn't turn out the way I was supposed to. One in a long line of failed experiments. But Wilson will keep trying. And do you trust Wilson? <sighs> This is the realm of the ink demon. The shadow hangs over us all. I don't trust anyone. But Wilson takes care of me, keeps me safe. He once said I remind him of something he called his mother. Tell me, is that a good thing, where you two are from? I'm not sure. I don't think I ever had one. Well, no matter. Now, I, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and relax. I left something on the table that might just help you nod off. It's my own recipe. Works very fast. Just follow the instructions. Carefully. Thanks, Betty. Of course. If you need anything else, I'll come straight away. I'm always up. Can't get away from me, you little stinker. <clears throat> uh, hello. I, uh, I forgot the Gilson again, didn't I? And there's some already ground up in the kitchen, too. Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll bring it up to your room straight away, shall I? <laughs> oh, and uh, maybe you could put Harold back in his tank. He does so hate the dry air. Now, just three sips of water. One. Two. Three. torn out and tossed onto my table. Custom parts, ready for my delicious harvest. And with your generous sacrifice, I'll be beautiful. But for now, let's have fun. Plenty of time for a bloodbath later. Ooh, how about a game? Let's all play a game of riddles. Riddles? Oh, what a wonderful idea! No. Hmm. All right, honey. Here's the deal. Behind you is the door to freedom. 
but it will only be opened if you solve my little puzzle and return to your special chair. Then I'll throw this heavy switch here. If you get the puzzle right, you walk away. Get it wrong. Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Always were. Why does this feel so familiar? Are you all right, Audrey? Alice, I cannot begin to tell you how good it is to see you. And this must be your wolf. Audrey, meet Tom. He is my protector. My friend. You both got here just in time. Now I understand why you don't like being called Alice. The machine creates many of the same forms. At least on the outside. On the inside, we're all pretty different. Well, from now on, I'm gonna call you something other than Alice. It just doesn't suit you. Oh? What do you have in mind? How about... Allison? It's not bad. Okay, I'll try it out. But, only if you can tell me what in heaven's name you're doing in Wilson's retreat. Wilson! I almost forgot! I have to get back right away! Are you crazy? Wilson's our enemy. Do you even know him? Have you ever talked to him? I've seen what he's done. That's good enough for me. Look, it sounds like he has a plan to kill the Ink Demon. For good. And I think he can help us all. I just... I just need to go back and hear him out. Well, if it's true, you'll both need as much help as you can get. The Ink Demon won't go down without a fight. Tom and I will gather some of our friends. Anyone who's left. Good luck, Audrey. You too, Allison. Mind if I take this? Normally, I wouldn't ask this of a guest, but oh, with all that's happening, I can't sneak out and get things like I usually do. Do you think you could pop round to the farmer's market back in town and find me a few ingredients? We're running quite low in the kitchen, and I was hoping we could all celebrate tonight with a lovely supper. Won't take but a moment if you go by train. Up to you. <laughs> no pressure. Thank you for coming all this way. The Ink Demon is a formidable foe. To truly destroy such a monster, he must be dethroned, humiliated. For months now, I've been working on something that will do exactly that. Cast out the demon and put a new deity in his place. Stronger, more powerful, and 
and controllable. Together, we just need to unleash our ultimate weapon. Come, let me show you my creation. Isn't he beautiful? Simple but elegant. A treasure. Powerful beyond anyone. The Ink Demon will fall, and we can have peace at last. It could work, but it sounds risky. How will we control him? We don't want to repeat Joey's mistake. No, we don't. All of the factors must be perfect. The right design, the right science, and the right soul. Last your purpose is revealed, Audrey. This is why you're here. With your soul inside him, my creation will live forever. Stay away from me. You're insane. Come now, Audrey. Part of you knew this was your path. Leave yourself behind and ascend. I thought you said we needed to save your father. I thought you had a plan to send me home, to make everything right. Lied. My father is beyond hope. Perhaps you know him. Nathan Arch, owner of Archgate, industrial genius, business tycoon. For years I've lived in his reaching shadow. He always had time for the grand creatives of the world, the doers, as he called them. He knew only the best, the biggest thinkers. How could his lonely son ever hope to compete with that? But now, thanks to you, I can. No need to struggle. My signal prevents you from using those devilish powers of yours. And more importantly, it keeps the Ink Demon from getting in. It's time to die, Audrey. And live again as a god. No, not this time. <laughs>
Greatest creation. I'm scared. I, I don't know what's happening. The past doesn't define you, nor the present. In the end, all those years ago, Joey Drew finally succeeded. He created life. But Audrey, you're so much more than that. You were his family. His daughter. My daughter. And I love you so very much. Be quiet. The rich is the Remember who you are, Audrey. Remember. Your words are worse.
My father once told me that just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it. We're always free to choose. And here, at the very beginning, there's a choice to make. My father's cartoon world was now mine, to rule, to watch over, and to protect. I can make the cycle more bearable for my friends inside. But as for me, I'm the first of my kind, born of ink, but living in flesh. Joey's world is escaping into ours. So what's next? Who can really say? just received the call. Joey Drew is dead. What a quiet end to an
extraordinary life. Last I heard, he was staying in some cramped apartment downtown. You could practically hear the rats through the telephone when he called me last April. In spite of that, old Joey sounded quite happy when last we spoke. More like the excited, hopeful young man I knew once upon a time. <sighs> well, farewell, my friend. What will become of your creations now? <laughs> Double quota then, Mr. Flynn says. <laughs> Double! Well, I haven't even pulled a full day's work in that old poor assembly line in some four years. I don't intend on starting now. I got my corner, my little sipping canteen, and I do get fine. Double quota. <laughs> I ain't even done half in months. Oh, but they won't fire me, no, sir. Place is big. No one knows what everyone else is doing. <laughs> so I'll turn up my radio, and put up my feet, cut the hole in my socks. Five o'clock comes easy around here. <laughs> Buddy. Yeah, so those Gen Corporation boys are kind of strange. Every time I come back to work, they put in even more of their pointless gadgets. Uh, last week, huh, they uh, they built some kind of, I don't know, electrical towers over near Animation Alley. This week, they added security codes for opening doors. Jeez, what kind of work do they think we do here anyways? Last I checked, we make toys and silly cartoons. <laughs> this ain't Fort Knox, you know what I mean? Now, it's my job to look over these shipping invoices and remember a bunch of random numbers? Yeah, no freaking thank you! I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna record the dog code here so I don't forget it. <clears throat> All right. The code is 451. 451. And if uh, Mr. Drew or Mr. Gray asks, you didn't hear it from me, okay? It seems that Archgate Studios, in all its misplaced admiration, was so eager to absorb the life's work of that crooked charlatan Joey True, they didn't fully realize what they had acquired. Call it fate that I just happened to be there on the loading dock that morning. When the delivery boys dropped one of the crates, it smashed open, and inside, there was something truly special. A mass of yellow steel and beautiful rivets. Some kind of machine. No one knew what it was, so the fools put it on display for all to see. But I could tell that this crude device held secrets. Secrets that could be mine. I'm ready for something different in my career. I've built steel companies from the ground up, dabbled in petroleum, even tried political office once. That Nathan Arch, they used to say, he's got the magic touch. But I'm hungry for a bit of fun, I think. Something both the masses and I can enjoy. My son suggested movies. Open a studio. Now I love a good film as much as anyone, but the magic of animation. Now there's something special. My old friend Joey knew the thrills of bringing characters to life. Rest his soul. Maybe with a bit of elbow grease and a small cash investment, I can resurrect the past. At the end of every crumbling empire, you gotta hide the treasures. Mr. Cohen brought me in to catalog and secure some of Joey Drew's more special assets in places no one will ever find them. <laughs> sure, that sounds completely legal, right? Anyway, I'll be leaving some clues around so we can find them later. Just remember, this nonsense wasn't my idea. So, here's my first little hint. I finally found a use for those silly motivational posters here in the atrium offices. They're sure to make quite an impact. Oh God, I can't believe I just said that. When you animate, it's so much more than just motion. It's a way of life, an art, a passion. <laughs> You must live the characters and 
of animation. I have so many characters to animate yet. Thousands of frames to go. <laughs> but for now, I'm just a clock. <laughs> tick tock. Tick tock. <laughs> week of my life. For once, we don't have Mr. Drew hanging over our shoulders. He ain't even stopped by at all. I'm turning out so many frames of animation, I can't even keep up with myself. Now, the only thing bothering me is that freak two desks over. Recent hire. Real weirdo. He keeps trying to show me some pictures he's been drawing. I tell you, this place has a curse. It's not one thing stopping you from getting things done. It's another. When I first entered this world, it was an untamed wilderness. A wretched, crawling slum ruled by that grinning demon. From chaos, I brought order. From order, I brought peace. Once you cut the head from the snake, the snake bleeds out quietly onto the ground. Now, the only question that remains is, what if the head grows back? Good things always come in threes, they say. Bendy, Alice, and Boris. It just works. So when I showed my coworkers my design for a new fourth member of the Butcher Gang, you could almost hear the disgust at the lunch table. A ghost girl, they said? No one's gonna get it. They just laughed at my drawings, crumpled them up like trash. But I'll get Mr. Drew on my side. He'll understand. He's got to. Carly will join the Butcher Gang. And she'll be beloved by all. One way or another, I'll bring Carly to life. The papers are signed. The animation staff is hired. Archgate Pictures is open for business. As of 9 o'clock this morning, Bendy and all his little cartoon friends now belong to me. I'll admit it's strange owning a dear friend's legacy. But I think... Joy would be content knowing it's safely in my hands. You just gotta believe, he used to say. He was such a showman. Well, I believe, Joey. I wholeheartedly believe. Something funny's going on around here. Call me suspicious if you wanna, but I know the signs of weirdness when I see them. Don't get me wrong, we've always had visitors around the studio, but lately, we're just getting one kind of visitor in particular. Gent Corporation employees. Tons of them. They're working in the hallways, ripping up the floors, taking the best toilets. You can't even get near the Little Devil Lounge these days. It's starting to feel less like an animation studio around here, and more and more like some crazy scientist's laboratory. It's just plain weirdness. Joey? Happened to notice last week just how long it takes for us employees to get home every night. When you add in the traffic and the waiting for the elevators, you practically only have a few hours before you have to wake up and come back. So, Joey had them build artist rest for us. Now we never have to leave work again, Joey says. Well, I'll admit, it's become quite the hangout spot down here. Almost like it's a uh, own little district. But there's Definitely some unsavory stuff going on, too. Smoking, gambling, love parties, you name it. At all hours of the night, sometimes. For a place that's all about getting some shut-eye, <laughs> there sure is a lot of noise around here. You gotta follow your...
inspirations when you're a musician. Stick to what you know works. But when they built the new studio buildings, they all but filled in my office down in the old sewers. Turns out, I've gotten so accustomed to working in those disgusting conditions that now if my office doesn't stink, the lyrics I write do. So when Jen started digging their massive utility shaft between their place and ours, I knew it'd be just the right spot for me to move in. Now I've got a song in my heart and a creative stench up my uh, nose. I don't like to ask questions. I believe everyone's got their own business. You hear something, you leave it alone. But when you spent as much time in and out of a jug as I have, you learn to keep your mouth shut about things, you know? So when I saw this here ad in the newspaper that reads, Gent Corporation looking for research subjects pays three fifty a week, I figured it'd be good for me. Easy money, right? With my record, you can't afford to be picky. But it turns out something really wrong is going on in this place. I mean, I've seen dead people before, but here, death is like a way of life. A clockwork march. They wheel out the bodies, and they disappear down the chute. Forgotten men from the street, paid to die. Three fifty a week. Experiment 13. The ink demon is successfully sedated for transport. Laboratory 9 is prepared for arrival at the receiving bay. Be advised that sedation will not last long. Termination must commence immediately upon reception. Wilson will expect a detailed report of the creature's demise. Experiment 26. Frequent delays due to the ink demon's refusal to terminate. Keepers have administered quarter-hourly sessions of physical tortures and surgical invasions to wear down his powers. All of these efforts have been ultimately unsuccessful. A new method of control must be devised. Termination impossible.
decided to go for a walk this morning. Took a little stroll down to the park. Enjoyed the warm sun for a while. Found a quiet bench. Even grabbed a hot dog. It's been ages since I've done that. Tessa would kill me if she knew I've been off my diet. When I got back to the office, I stopped by the animation department and said hello to the troops. My gosh, they're getting younger every day. Either that or I'm just getting older. It all made me realize time is moving on. The hard struggles don't seem as dire as they used to. Life has other value. I think I'll go home early today. Maybe I'll even pick up a hot dog for Tessa.